Shalom, la bachayayim, shalayashala, peace be to the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the 144,000 Hanabi all Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, and of course the Israelite foreigners, which have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, and the rest of the one third men, women, and children, which will believe in the words which the prophets shall speak, which the prophets are the Raashim, the heads of the nation, uh, and of course. The Bayat are of course, to that house of David, in which the Lord set up the prophets to prophesy unto the 12 tribes of Israel, and the elect will receive the salvation on this side, and receiving that the Wa, which will be the exemption from the judgment which we see, which is imminent. Of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who well. Of course, um, before that, also call Allah Yimla Yahweh by Shemuel Shabbat Shem Kodesh. All praises to the Most High, which His name is Yahweh. His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who is being called Jesus Christ by Hashem in the name of Rechah, meaning Spirit Kodesh is holy. To utter in the Paleo Hebrew, the pure tongue, Lashwan Kodesh, language of the heavens, which we have today. And we speak through faith You can call upon the names Of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai For our salvation Us Israelites and Those who <coughs> yeah, Believe they are Okay Israelites To you I say Shalom Shalom Peace and mercy To you To the election The election To the election Shmiyah Mafa, my name is Amafa from the Great Muslim Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Coming with another my Lamadium or a little lesson. By a math of truth in which I'm covering the prophecy of the mark of the beast in brief. The article which I have before me on the screen, in which the headline reads off of dailymaverick.co.za the human microchips are here would you implant one so I mean if you see it actually written here in these articles and we know that the Edomites are wicked as it's written in the scriptures I'm going to get a precept or a quad which is a precept real quick or kawash which says should be in the book of Ezekiel most likely 28 and 3 it reads here behold thou art wiser than Daniel all right which speaking about these Edomites all right there is no secret that they can hide from thee. So going it going it to it Chakam is is what is what means wise in Hebrew. And you have Danya Allah, which is a prophet of Yahweh Shem Shai, which the Lord of course revealed many prophecies unto him. When you read in the scriptures in the book of Daniels, all right, and of course the prophets, when you go into it at a as a collective, the Lord of course reveal a secret unto them. But you have it where, of course these these Edomites, okay, they of course have these left hand side dealing with them and of course do of course the Lord having them in that stock in which they through the spiritual demon Satan they know exactly whom they are they know they are the wicked and they know exactly their lot and what they're supposed to fall in and I'm speaking of the elite of them okay 
they have it where these Edomites, they of course are more so in the know, or you die, which means to know, and the knowledge of, of these actual biblical prophecies more than you, which is ridiculous. And that's why, of course, it tells you that our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And of course, our people are rebellious and sought as children. Because if you have an Edomite whom, of course, the Lord isn't, isn't it dealing with, and they, of course, have knowledge of the chip, which you'll see, you clearly have to be not anointed, all right, and not have any understanding. Because you have these various false prophets which are claiming that the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, that the chip, the RFID microchip, also known as the NFC chip, isn't it the actual mark of the beast? And they're telling you, some of them and some of these groups are telling you you can actually accept it. So of course, there's recently a recent group. Um, of Hebrew Israelites, which I believe this was the ISUBK with the General Yohanna, he of course is saying that you can take the chip, which that's ridiculous. That's absolutely insane because it violates the Holy Scriptures, the actual prophecy which we'll get in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. 15 and it reads here that and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast the image of the beast is a Roman system in which we are in due to the rebirth okay of the Roman Empire okay which that came into its fruition due to the treaty of Rome when you of course go back into the history when you have the uh, ten horns okay which are now tw what, about, what 28 member states in the EU and of course you have uh, the NATO and that partnership and such makes up the beast okay NATO and the EU okay those old Roman vassal states and such uh, they're back here okay as under new names and such in the modern day and of course they of course give their power onto the beast which is of course you have it uh, you have uh, the beast being NATO okay of course you have these different EU nations which aren't part of uh, of course uh, are are part of NATO right or more so I should say some of these NATO uh, countries aren't a part of the EU as uh, we go into continually or you of course have it where this uh, image of the beast this system which is filled with nothing but the lies of democracy the spreading of homosexuality the wickedness of accepting the philosophies which are outside of the Law, Statue, Commandments of the Lord. You have, of course, the murder. You, of course, have all of these different things which have done nothing but brought wickedness and confusion in the earth. A part, of course, of it, which will be in its end, is to chip the world, okay? Which we're going to go into. It says, in, it says here. I'm going to read it again. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And of course a part of you have it, this uh, image of the beast and such. Right, if you're not dealing with this different, you say, facets or different ways of this wicked system, Roman system, which, as the elders and apostles lately been going into, 
Air Force had this whole draconian law and such. If you're not down for it, or you're not accepting or reversing it, they're going to, of course, destroy you. And that, of course, comes with that new world order, which they are rushing quickly to establish. And we can see that right now because of the pushing of this RFID chip, the microchip, towards the people accepting it, already conditioned them, preconditioning them before they implement it as a mandatory. So it says here, verse uh, 16, it says, And he calls, and he saw Edom, the wicked, who had control of the whole earth. As is written in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to him the wicked. He calls it all, and that's all inhabitants of the earth and such. Okay. Both small and great, rich and poor. Okay, so you have both small and great. Regardless of your stature, your social status, rich and poor, your economic status, free and bond, whether you are liberated or incarcerated, to receive a mark, which is kragman in the Greek, which that means an incision. And this is why we know the mark of the beast is the R for the microchip. Because we, of course, have the understanding of the scriptures, have that, of course, access to Yahweh Shai to understand the scriptures, which Yahweh Shai, of course, opened the seals of the book. It's worthy to. And we, of course, know that through, of course, rightly directing, right, rightly and correctly dividing the word of truth that this is the chip. Okay, because you have it where this a karagma is an incision. Okay, where you have a thing carved, okay, and it says a sculpture, a graven work. It says a mark branded upon horses. You know, we know that, you know, um, Esau has us literally as slaves here. Okay, so of course, to claim whom his property is, ultimately, he wants to put a chip within you, okay, which you accepting this R for the microchip. NFC chip also called as well in your body it being of course inserted in your body which when you go into the root of that word for Kragma it goes into Kharax which it means a pale or palisade okay which that will be your actual or have its trench to your when you see the actual surgical device which they literally stab into you okay and it inserts that actual enclosed enclosure which holds the RFID chip and then of course they take it out you know bandage you up and such All right you can of course watch some of the different um, videos okay on online okay which they have and they've been pushing this very kabod heavy all right rob uh, uh, rob meaning uh, much or abundantly uh, kabod which means heavy in hebrew and you know this is just one video you know you can see you can, i definitely suggest you to check it out this uh particular what a shy woman, Edomite at that, of the wicked stalk. Um, she has multiple chips in her body. All right, she actually says that she actually had a, 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 a her car key or her door key implanted into her left hand, which that would be, of course, in the form of a microchip. Her her door must have RFID technology so that she can of course use this RFID chip to actually grant her the access into her home because things are now digital and of course pushing things through digital they have this whole transhumanism agenda which you know they as you if you can read you read in the beginning of this one video it of course goes into the belief and theory that the human race can 
evolve beyond its physical and mental limitations and that's basically Esau Edom trying to obtain the birthright okay we know that Esau is not spiritual at all the, no, the Lord is not in his thoughts as you would read in the book of Psalms the 10th chapter okay um, which reads I can see if I can or nah or, or yeah, get it I or I got it or I will get it I'm gonna say actually Hasaparatha Holium of the Holium I'm gonna get it in my physical Bible so you ain't gonna see it on the screen. Psalms chapter 10 and I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start actually I'm gonna start at verse 2. It says the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor who are the poor. The wicked of course the Edomites. Let them be taken in their devices <clears throat> that they have imagined. Now, some of the different thoughts which they created, which imagine they made and brought in fruition is the RFID microchip. The Lord put this within them. It says, For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth, the Lord shuns. Okay? You have the wicked, as you see, they, they of course believe that the human race can evolve beyond its physical and mental limitation by of course merging both human with these various technological jack gadgets okay getting these different electronic gadgets in your body to defy what they can do with just the flesh okay which ultimately is still fleshly when you do when you think of it, because it's not, um, you know, righteous spiritual power at all. You know, this is a carnal way. When you put a, a device in your body, different devices in your body, you know, of course, different inventions they make with your left hand side in order to be as Jacob. Okay, this is what the scriptures talk about: the different miracles. Okay, which is their technology. Okay. <laughs> So, and it's a blessing onto them. So, that verse 4 it says, The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after power, the Most High. It says God, but it says that power is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgment are far above out of his sight, as for all his enemies he puffeth at them. And we know that, of course, the Edomites, they are very proud. Okay, they, of course, are known as um, proud men. Um, as you read, of course, also, you know, in Habakkuk and all over the scripture, Obadiah, you know, the pride that, that's in them as, uh, you know, as, uh, I know that one says about, uh, of course, about the pride. Uh, let me see. I keep. I'll just get it instead of just quoting it. Habakkuk chapter two. Right there. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up in him, is not upright in him. Okay, so that's one thing about the Edomites. Okay. It, say, it says here that because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of my people shall spoil thee. Because of men's blood and the violence of the land, the city, and all and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that covets the evil covetousness to his house. That he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. We know that the Edomites, of course, uh, accomplished going into the firmament, setting up different 
dwellings, their satellites and such, and different space stations to try to escape, well, the destruction, but as we go into, they're going to be hoarded up into slavery, okay? Ness goes into Quan, which, you know, you go into like a bird's nest, okay? Which is a dwelling or a chamber, okay? Which you go into it like the different space retreat they have and these satellites and space station, okay? Now, and, and you know, you could read, you know, also as I had got out and I or quoted also in Obadiah <clears throat> that it says here about Edom, which is the wicked, the vision of Obadiah or Abadiah, servant of Mosai. And it says, Thus said the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom, Adawam, we have heard a rumor from Yahweh that an ambassador is sent, it says, an, an ambassador is sent among the heathen, arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. So they're hated, of course, amongst these different nations. You can see why. It says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is on high, as saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, it is, you know, the signs of the Edomites, America, and Rome, okay? And, and through, though thou set thy nest among the stars, all right, in different space, you know, either space in the, in the actual firmament, thence will I bring thee down, said Yahweh, all right? So, you know, the Lord isn't, of course, um, happy with Esau, Edom at all. All right, as it says in the scripture, the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. And, of course, there's a great judgment that's coming for them for what they're going to bring to this world, bring to primarily the Israelites, which is all for the microchip, okay, which we were going into. And this has a what? A incision, okay? You have it here, I am... You got even here from the root word etymology from a karat, what's that? Charazo or charazo, which means to sharpen to a point through the idea of scratching. Okay, it's gonna go inside you, it's an incision. Okay, we know Leviticus 19 and 28 tells us not to, of course, take any cuttings, all right, in the flesh um, or any markings for the dead. Okay, uh, tw or that's 19 and 28 actually, Leviticus. And 28 Okay Which You know on another note When you go to the book of uh, Leviticus Let me see I'm going to make this point too What the book of Leviticus Let me see Book of let me see how to spell it. Wrong. Right, Leviticus. When you go into the actual meaning of the book of Leviticus, we read it out in the in the, in the Hebrew. Okay, you have it. Let me see. Wa, ya, ko, ra. All right. Meaning, and he called in the Hebrew. And uh, ko, ra means to call. Okay, it means to to read a point. Okay. So, going into it, you know, it says. Basically, it's, uh, it consists of the Most High speeches to, to, to Moses, or really through Moses to the Most High speaking to Moses, giving the commandments to the nation of Israel, all right, which commands uh, Moses to repeat to the Israelites, right? This takes place, all right, uh, within the history of the Israelites in the Exodus, when he left out of Egypt, okay? So, these are instructions, all right? 
unto the Israelites, okay? Simple as that. And we know what is lawful, all right, what is tahar, what is pure, and what is tam tamah, all right, what is unpure, okay? And taking a chip in your body is defiling it and ultimately is a sin unto death and destruction, all right? Leviticus 19 and 28, it reads, Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the deep or the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. Okay, so we're not to make any cuttings, okay? Which you have it there for cuttings, which is Shawart, Sharat, actually, Sharat, Wa Sharat. All right. La, it says, Napash, okay, and then you have La'a, or Tha, tha or Tha Thun, wa, all right, which, I mean, you could go and break it down in the Hebrew, um, I have to go in the spirit, pretty much. Um, you have it where it says in in cuttings basically uh, la napash which uh, napash that of course means what the soul okay when you go into it napash like napash yeah is my soul okay la napash la a cuttings to so la a give or right wa or give he perhaps and it says ba bashar which that of course bashar I know means to end you have bashar which means flesh bashar come and it's and come uh, at the end or come or come means uh, when you go and break it down that will be in the Hebrew if my memory serves me correct means uh, your okay in a plural masculine sense right if I'm, yeah your flesh okay and um, you know that's basically it you got I'm a, you know for right now so I don't make it too long okay <laughs> we can break it down you know we even break this stuff down you know uh, through the spirit you know the spirit is dealing with his men so you know Akim of course uh, don't hesitate to go in the spirit you know when we doing this work so we got the cuttings okay which incision or cut in which when you take this chip it's an incision or cut has been done unto you in your flesh, okay? Which is a violation of that precept. Now, going back to that uh, precept being in the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and 16, which we were at, it says, and he causes all, and that's Esau Edom, have control of the whole earth. It says, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, and that mark, as we broke down, is that R for each microchip. Is the mark of the beast. And Esau Edom even tells on himself when you read the article. It says here, over the last two decades, human microchipping has experienced a very slow growth curve with minimum market penetration, but things might be speeding up. As we enter the age of the human cyborg. Alright, now we know that things are speeding up. Because the Lord, of course, is cutting the, the time down. Alright, as it says in the scriptures. Um, I believe the Lord is making things short for the elect's sake. Alright. And if, of course, uh, you know, we can, you know, we if the Lord ain't did do some of these things, we would be, no flesh would be saved. You know, because Esau Edom is a very wicked man, where obviously you see that he destroys the entire earth.
okay and that's why of course the Lord has in that precept in Revelation and uh, I'm gonna bring out this Revelation chapter and 18 and I'm gonna start at 17 it says saying we give thanks O Lord Yahweh Almighty which art and was and art to come because or it says Lord God um, it says because thou art, art has already or Yahweh it says because thou has already socket because thou has taken to thee thy great power and has reigned and the nations were angry and thy wrath has come in the time of the deed that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets all right the prophets are servants of the lord okay which we lord willing are prophets saying before being witness where yahweh shy okay it says and to the saints which are israelites and them that fear thy name which is the elect small and great and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth and the edomites destroy the earth Okay, the Lord has to destroy them that destroy the earth. Okay, <laughs> if the Lord doesn't do it, if he wasn't to do it, we would be destroyed here because the Edomites are very wicked people. All right, as you see, okay, they want um, basically death and destruction for everybody. They don't want, how can life continue with someone who believes in transhumanism and believes in homosexuality, um, things which have no fruit? All right, in okay, which aren't fruitful and aren't lawful. And see how about your shot are to this world, and how the natural cycle of life should be. So it says here, the future is now, and that's a that's a heavy state statement right now, because some of these 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 false prophets out here, they don't understand. You know, uh, they still stuck in the past. <laughs> All right, they not living in the now and seeing really meaning living in the now, meaning measuring the time diligently in itself and having an understanding of the prophecies to know that they're speaking now too and what it actually the prophecies are actually uh, saying what they actually are in the, its right way okay because you can buy and sell with the chip okay if you got some dudes that don't understand that it says the future is now it's just not evenly dis distributed yet see right meaning it's not and mandatory yet really okay evenly distributed the, the distribution where they're gonna spread all of this okay that's distribute all right distribute it that of course goes into when uh things are what deal out okay things are gonna and it says here the proceeds are distributed among his creditors to give out that's just a uh, example of how to use it we of course we're debtors to we're debt slaves onto Esau Edom. He wants to give out a chip right, and control everything. It says yet says Doctor Elsa Sor Sortaridis, quoting American Canadian science fiction writer William Gibson, who is said to have uttered the phrase in a 1993 interview. And it says that Sortaridis. Use this quote while speaking at the Ordiv Developers Conference in 2018. She is the is a synthetic biologist, and you know we deal with you know when you deal with synthetics, obviously you deal with things which are artificial, okay, not natural. Synthetic substance made a chemical synthesis, usually to imitate a natural product. Uh, it says not genuine. Okay, so, you know, I'm dealing with false things. It says biologists. Okay, I believe bio means of earth. You go into the etymology. Bio means life, actually. It's like, yeah. Like bio. So, going back, it's like, yeah. It says here, 
that the future is science fiction writer, biotech venture capitalist, and self-described biofuturist. Her field of interest right now is the world of digital biology, from biohacking and exploring how future computer parts won't be manufactured but biologically grown. So, yeah, they literally want to somehow do technology grow these things, okay, with, uh, you know, in the form, basically to be like as if it's a part of life, okay, that we can literally, like you have lab-grown meat and stuff like that, that's a new thing what Esau got coming, or may already have on deck, okay, you have it where he wants to literally create artificial things, like, like you say, genetically modified organisms and stuff, you have these biologically grown, um, basically com computer parts. Okay, as is where it's going into. It says in the tech scene, and on her website, she's also candidly referred to as a candidly referred as a cyborg. You know, we know that this whole cyborg is man and human combined. <laughs> okay, so a fictional hypothetical person whose physical abilities extend beyond normal human limitation by mechanical elements built in the body and that's what chip having chips within it okay which you do these chips you can of course do various feats that are possible and you have it where some of these chips are you know have it with these brain chips that's going to be like it, it being put in your forehead they got the neural lace is going to make people be able to speak and do be able to walk all types of things they got um chips uh that uh work with these different body suits and stuff to make uh people that are paraplegic can walk you know there's all type of tech with this you know but anyway it says in the tech scene in her website she candidly referred to as a cyborg due to the microchip implant between her thumb her left thumb and her index finger now as we go into you know, some people may say, oh, what did you say you left them and stuff? Well, it's only because this um, might look even up with her. And, like, certain places they do things on the left side. Like, we always go into, I am over in, you know, I know in Great Britain or Scotland, over there in the east and such. And even certain places like, you know, uh, was under previous British rule, I know, like, in Jamaica, have it where they drive on the other side of the street okay um so left hand do dominant <laughs> you know so anyway uh, it says left thumb and index split finger but it doesn't matter because it can be any part of your body you still can be destroyed if you take the chip it says which she got live on stage at the 2016 pioneer festival held in vienna during the event she demonstrated how she could use the implanted chip to send pre-programmed tweets and by swiping her phone over her hand and you can watch that video it's ridiculous it's wicked what she did and you jake shouldn't take it it says which you'll be in violation of revelation 14 okay and eight uh you can read that and she was not the first person to get the chip implanted of course you have kevin warwick a british scientist Professor of Cybernetics was the first person known to have the surgically implanted silicone chip into his body back in 1998, and the chip was used, uh, a radio, which uses a radio frequency identification device technology, and allowed him to operate various things such as room lights, locks, and lifts. And it basically, it puts you apart as an Internet of Things, which you know, we of course teach a lot of it. You know, things and plants for everyone and how we get there. And, and you have it with the hard part of the Internet of Things is you being a part of that same grid which all of these other devices are electronically a part of. Where you also are <laughs> um, tracked as well, okay? Like you're, you have your different... Um, all these different things and you go into the whole internet of things which I could check in brief uh, a 
I'll just go into Google for now just to give you a quick uh, just a quick definition Internet of Things basically interconnecting all the different devices and stuff including you all right so Internet of Things interconnection of via the internet of computing devices embedded in everyday objects enabling them to send and receive bad so of course interconnection that's what it is all due to internet which will be with this whole 5g technology okay you'll be connected to the grid with the chip okay as a uh a person the part of the society of the new world order if you take the chip Okay, if not, you'll be off grid, which we will be off grid, and when we don't take the chip, Esau Edom don't want that because we will be considered as enemies of the state, and thus we, of course, are in his book to be eliminated. Okay, but the Lord is going to fight for us, obviously, and if we uh, are to die, you know, we, of course, uh, will be redeemed, Lord willing. Uh, we'd be a part of that elect in a chariot coming back uh, meeting the elect that are alive okay and call it to the clouds but that's another lesson or another time but it says here in that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast and the number of his name here is wisdom and let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man Esau and his number is 606 score 6 666 as you saw a number which is integrated within uh, the barcode system okay these NPC codes and such all right so I can so Esau Edom the devil that the Bible speaks of wants you to be a transhumanist he wants you to be a part of his new world order a part of his grid even though he wants to eliminate you so that's really you know the the scoop on this okay you have various it goes into about the mall and g who has the biohacking company dangerous things which i mean if you have a company called dangerous things that's a dead did giveaway all right dangerous things he created the f another first uh, implant that uses NFC, same technology that used in smartphones today, to make payments at speed points, okay? So it can buy and sell. The chip can, of course, make payments, okay? So it's not, uh, it's no uh, thing that's far-fetched that this is uh, not the chip, uh, that is this not the market of beast. It is the market of beast. The RFID microchip is the market of beast, okay? And Esau even tells you okay that about this it says here that the tractors of this technology range from when you go into this word for detractors we're going to it right now it says a uh, person who disparaged something or something uh let me see let's go into it even more detractor let's go into it on Google a person disparage something or something uh, let's see detract let me see I want to get a deeper definition and perhaps I'll just go to etymology online so you can get some roots I'm just gonna look up the track because that's what the word I want. It says defame or slander, in which we uh, to take or pull down. We we are the ones that the prophets are, of course. You know, not ignorant of Satan's devices. You know, we're of course uh, speaking and defaming it. All right, not um, in league with it because it's of course in violation. And you, Jake, you Israelites, so funny as Latinos, the Americans, those that, of course, are Israelite foreigners that are scattered or amongst the heathen that can understand these scriptures, okay? They hear the Spirit, okay? And bear witness with it, okay? 
you are not supposed to take the chip. Okay, simple as that. There's no reason for you to take a chip. You, of course, got to rely on Yahweh Bashem Shai, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, true Lord, power, your power of Israel. You, uh, Israelite, because you've been told you're all these other false nationalities which are not in the Bible. Okay, you got to depend on Him for all things. Okay. You know, in the times which you're going to come, the Lord's going to be your guide. And you have to take the act of faith and by not taking this chip, okay? Because that's destruction for you. And going back to the article, it says the technology ranged from religious or religious individual. Basically, you could say believers. That's what they're really talking about. Religious mean the bind, all right? Uh, but anyway, um... Who see the chip as a fulfillment of biblical prophecy, which it is. As there's other Edomites too that believe in that it is the, the mark of the beast. Like the apostle always tell you about that in the Bible Belt here in America, some of the different um, Christian believers of the Bible know that it is. It says to those who see it as a security nightmare because it can trap you, okay, though they claim it's not trackable or is it, they don't have tracking properties but you know this article covers that there's things they can hook to it but we know it tracks okay we're not stupid there's gps tracking in our phones too all right but anyway it says here to those who see the security nightmare further adding to concerns about invasion of our privacy microchips have been since 1990s and pets which is a trial run basically as a way to identify, basically authenticate your identity, then should they go missing. Pet microchips don't necessarily have the feature that they, which they can be tracked. Uh, I believe they have it where the, the, when you lost somebody, find the dog, and then the chip that's in them, they of course identify the dog, which has the information in, in it of the actual owner. Now. And Esau, when he chip you, he's going to be able to track you, know what you're doing, your every whereabouts and everything, and have all your information on you. You will be tracked, okay? As you are a property of Esau, Edom, and his, his setup, and his system, his pit, okay? When you, of course, uh, subordinate, you know, be under the rule of this newer order, if you accept the chip. It says the current wave of human microchips don't have batteries. They, it says, and they run off of you, okay? It says they, they're the size of a single grain of rice, don't have a lot of memory, and generally store basic information that can be extracted from by other machines and environment. Basically other devices that can read, okay, radio uh, read and send a various uh, radio frequency and uh, waves and such, radio waves and such, NFC stuff, technology. Okay, it shows you here the different makeup, the breakdown of it, the bioglass, the antenna, disruptive joy, the, the, the uh, uh, disruptive board, and the LED. That's the chip. Technically, a person cannot be tracked via microchip alone, though there's a machine that. that can interact with the microchip. Some movements and activities can be documented. That's BS, right? That's just a trick, you guys. Someone will tell you that, and then you take the chip and get destroyed. It says in 2006, City Watchers or what? What Watcher Weather or what's this? Watcher.com. Then a video surveillance company in the U.S. started microchip employees who dealt with most confidential data. So they would require the RFID chip in order to access certain data. All right. And then they got the three square market. They, of course, chipped in 2018. Which, uh, that was what, year of prophecy? This is the year of Kragma, which is the chip. Okay, they, uh, they chipped 50 of their employees voluntarily. It says the technology still in its infancy. That's BS. But the implant technology into the human body is nothing new. Alright. We have the, NF, the, the same technology in our art, smartphones. And they say we travel daily with it. With the, in our 
chips in our bank cards. But the only difference would be it being your body, okay? And you'll be able to do all these different various tasks which the chips enable. Alright, so I'm just gonna close out with that just to give you the warning. Okay, don't take the offer any chip. It is the mark of the beast. We're not, of course, ignorant of Satan's device. Okay, read, of course, this Revelation chapter 14 on your own, which tells you, of course, about the destruction to those that take the chip. When you start at Revelation chapter 14 and nine, it says in the third angel followed them, saying, A loud voice, if any man worship the beast. Beast is named the EU in his image, the image is a system, Roman system, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Okay, so it don't matter where it is, okay? Some say, oh, it's it left or right. See, it doesn't even matter, okay? The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the power which is poured out without mixture in the cup of his indignation, his righteous anger, and shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. In the presence of the Lamb, the Lamb being Yahweh Shai, for the world, you can call it Jesus Christ. Because the Holy Host is coming back, alright, with Yahweh Shai in the second coming. The Lord is then going to meet thee as a man, come back as an angelic power, come to deliver the elect and destroy those who take this chip, okay, and, and, and of course accept this new world order, okay. This system is over, we can clearly see it, and that the prophecies are sped up. We, you know, as soon as the chip is made mandatory, it's really gonna speed up, and we're we'll soon be on our way out of here, delivered, Lord willing. So with that, we we'll give all praises to Yahweh Shem Hashem Hashem Kol Kodesh and Double Honors to Elzer Pasha, that great millstone. Well, another warning not to take the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, it's proven that it is, and we of course believe through faith that it is. Shalom.